everyone, welcome to the video. I'm Amy and I post new videos every week. I post a lot of foundation wear tests, full face first impressions, things like that. If that sounds like your kind of content, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on mine. In today's video, we are going to be doing part two of my eyeshadow palette declutter. If you missed part one, I will go ahead and link it uh, in the eye down below now. Today we're going to focus on high-end palettes so if that sounds like something you're into then let's get into it okay so first let's talk about my wands that are shaped kind of like this these might be familiar to you so we've got the dose of colors kdx the kdx desi katie and desi friendcation palette soft glam modern renaissance subculture and Norvina. Now, you do not see me talk about these on my channel often or at all, um, and that is because I don't like to support ABH, honestly. Um, I do like the formula, so I like to reference the formula a lot when I'm talking about other palettes because I think this is a formula that a lot of people have tried, so I think it's easy to um, describe to people. Um, but yeah, I don't use these very often. They are nice palettes. I like them. That's what I will say about that. I think I'm gonna keep them all. Let me let me look at them really quick. Hold on. Let's open these up. Okay, so here they are, Norvina, Subculture, Modern Renaissance, and Soft Glam. Soft Glam is the newest one that I have and the one that I've used the least, but I do love the color story, so I am going to keep this one. Modern Renaissance. I, my favorite colors in this one are Warm Taupe, which is this very neutral color, and Vermeer, which is this really soft pink inner corner kind of color. So the rest of this can go. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this one. The Subculture, this one has so much hate on the internet, but I do love the color story of this one. I love the shimmers that are in here, the deeper like green, the blue. I think uh, this one gives me the colorful side of things, but on the deep end of it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it. And then this one I think is actually my favorite one of the four, um, just because it has kind of the really cool tone neutrally colors and the purpley colors. Um, I'm glad that it's not a whole purple palette like a lot of people wanted. I think this is like my kind of everyday kind of palette, so I'm going to keep this one. And the Friendcation palette, I'm definitely going to keep this one. I think it's beautiful. I definitely don't use these colors um, very often. They're uh, beautiful, but they are just not an everyday situation for me. Um, but I'm never disappointed when I pull out this palette. I really love it, so I'm keeping it. So there is those four that I'm gonna keep. They stay up, they stand up really nicely just on their own. Okay, let's talk about Pat McGrath. Alright, so here. Yes, yes. These are all of my Pat McGrath palettes. And I'm keeping them all. I'm not getting rid of anything Pat McGrath. I am so sorry. It's so beautiful. I love everything about these. I will um, open them just to show you them. Um, but yes, I'm definitely 100% keeping all of these. So.
Okay, let's see. Let's look at my smaller palettes. They're all in here. All right, I don't know if you can see everything there, but let's go biggest to smallest. How about that? All right, so first I have this magnetic palette here. This is full of Makeup Geek shadows. I still have like barely dipped into these. I've swatched them a couple times and I've used them at like two times at most. I definitely need to like do a video using these because I don't use them enough and I think that will help me to actually pull them out and use them. So I'm gonna put this um, kind of out on my desk but I'm not gonna get rid of them. I have no clue really how I feel about them. So that's, those are my two cents on that. Oh my gosh, my Raw Beauty Chrissy times Pure. Ugh, look at that. These are like the most true colors. They're not like fairy pale pastel colors. They are not super deep jewel tones. They're actually quite true. Like that's a purple, that's a blue. Um, it's a little bit green, but you know what I mean? Like it's pretty true compared to my other colors And this Cafe Disco color is delicious. Um, and this is a perfect everyday palette for me. Absolutely keeping this. I love this palette so much. The artwork is so cute, obsessed, keeping. Um, I guess these are kind of the next biggest. These are my Elizabeth Arden palettes that I got in the Christmas collection last year. And I really love these for every day. I think they are like the softest, most beautiful formula that I have, honestly, in my collection. It's a different kind of formula. I don't think everybody would like it, but I definitely think that people that are new to makeup would really enjoy it. It's very fuss free and I have this super fun one too. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one, but I will keep the neutral one um, for sure because I don't see myself um, reaching for this. Um, yeah, no. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that one. But I'm going to go ahead and keep this one because I do think it's a like perfect everyday palette. It is a no fuss palette. I'm not going to reach for it often for sure. Um, but I could see myself pulling this out if I have like three minutes, not three minutes, <laughs> if I only had like 20 minutes to get ready and I wanted to know that my eyeshadow was going to be blended no matter how awful of a job I did, it would definitely be this palette. I'm going to keep it. All right, let's go to these two. These are newer to my collection. Um, I have just recently used the Haze one for the first time and I'm actually not as impressed with it. As I want it to be like I wanted this to be kind of my high-end version of the Juvie's Place Nomad palette and I do really like this don't get me wrong like I think it is beautiful it just didn't like I guess the like nuance to the colors didn't get me as much like it's not as exciting to me um, but I do think it's really beautiful I have only used it once or twice so I am gonna definitely keep it I love the packaging I think it's really pretty the formula is really nice it's just the color story didn't hit as hard as I wanted it to, um, but I'm going to keep uh, using it and trying it out throughout the year. We'll see in my end of year declutter if it stays, but I do really like it. Keeping the nude light. This one is also a very perfect everyday palette, but more so of like, you know, these ethereal shades, this light pale kind of look. I do think it's really, really pretty. Um, I love these two shades. I actually just, I love all of these shades, but like this shade is such, a, it's it's kind of like a high-end version of that Snake Eyes shade, but um, obviously like more pink, but it is so pretty. I really, really, really enjoy having this palette. Keeping, let's do Stasi Alex next. So this is a um, makeup company from Belarus. And I recently, not, I guess kind of recently, <laughs> purchased all of these and I really like them. I think they're a really nice color stories. Um, they do have more fun color stories, but like here is like a really, really um, everyday one. Here is kind of a more fall grungy 
one right here. This color is a, a duochrome, so it looks kind of pink. To, well, actually, I think both of those are duochrome. So right now, when I look in the camera, I see pink and I see like a pale champagne, but when I look at them, they both look gold. Let's see if I can get the flip. There we go. So this one's kind of like, oh gosh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. They're both gold flips to them. I don't know. It's really fun uh, color story. And then this one's like a smoky purple pretty. This color right here, like, ugh. Love it. It's disgustingly beautiful. And this color, ugh. Love. I absolutely love. So I'm definitely going to keep all of those. I don't use them too often, but I mean, like, honestly, look at how much eyeshadow I own. How often can I use these things? realistically how often um but i do really like these i'm going to keep all of those um and then i have these three natasha denona palettes the mini palettes so we have the mini glam the mini lila and the mini love the lila is the first one that i ever purchased and i do love these two shades right here i think that's like the perfect everyday look but i never reach for any of these other ones and i don't love natasha's formula it's not my favorite formula i know i know i'm gonna get a lot i get hate for that but it's just not um so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one and then let's see this one i really like this shade these shades in here i just i don't know i'm gonna keep this one since it's so new to my collection i've only used it once or twice um and this shade in particular which is the middle shade really is drawing me in um i'm just not sure how it will look on me i think i used this shade when i when i used this in a in a look I don't remember um so I'm gonna keep this one and then the Natasha Denona love mini love um this one is a duochrome right here it's like a gold to pink I think what you see is pink but what I see is gold right now um and I think this one's a really nice one this one is probably my favorite color story of the three small ones um just because it's it's much more fun yet it still gives me everyday looks like this and this is an everyday look for me for sure um so I'm gonna keep this one all right we've got makeup forever i purchased these four shades so long ago um and i actually like this one as a blush but i never ever 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 use these so i think i need to take these out of this quad because i thought you know if i have this quad of these very everyday colors then i could mix them with everything else but i don't think i ever think of it so I want to put these with the rest of my singles and make like color stories so that I actually use them because these are really nice shadows, you know, and they're nice colors. Um, but I just never, there we go, right there. Um, I never reach for this, but I'm going to keep it because um, I do, I definitely need to use it more to decide if it would be something I would want to declutter. I don't like to declutter something when I don't really have feelings about it. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm gonna keep this. And then the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Quad. I'm getting rid of this. <laughs> this is not worth the money. I don't, I, I mean, even if you like the palest of palest of palest looks this just does nothing for me at all absolutely nothing i'm definitely getting rid of this um i might try to sell this one since i've only used it two times i obviously will clean it up since it's got my grimy little fingerprints all over it uh, but i have only used it two times and i used it during my video and i was like yeah no and then i tried it again and it still just did nothing for me so absolutely not we're getting rid of this one Now, the last stack I have, oof, these. Okay, here are my last stack of palettes. Let's go ahead and start with this one. I absolutely love the Royal Heritage palette. 
this palette right here makes me want to go buy every eyeshadow that Oma Beauty has come out with. This is a beautiful formula. These shimmers rival Pat McGrath's. It is, it is so beautiful. Like I am still amazed at how beautiful this is. I want to pull it out for every look that I do. I absolutely love this palette. Highly, highly recommend. Definitely keeping it in my collection. Um, the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde. This one is kind of new to my collection. I have used it so many times already and swatched it so many times already because it is one of the most beautiful eye-catching palettes that I have. It has some really lovely like neutral everyday kind of shades as well as super fun colors. I love this palette. I'm definitely keeping this palette. The Nabla Secret Palette. This also is kind of new to my collection and I have used it a handful of times. I love this shade and this shade and this palette. These are some of the most beautiful all over the lid kind of shades. I love wearing this kind of color every day. Um, love having the bright gold, the red ruby kind of cranberry color. I love this like deep periwinkle. I love this palette. It's so nice. The quality and the formula is really nice as well. I'm really glad that I picked this one up. I am still like secretly in love with the side-by-side -side palette, but I do have that BH Cosmetics um, Take Me to London or whatever that has those kind of neutral colors. So trying to fight that urge, but I do love this. So happy that it's in my collection. Definitely keeping it. Let's see. Aether Beauty. I think this is a really nice palette. It is an everyday palette for sure. It doesn't give that much uh, depth, but it does have some really unique shades like this really cool space gray moment and this um, purple. This one is like a cranberry color with a periwinkle shift. I don't know if you're picking that up, but it is so unique. And then this very soft champagne-y kind of color is like my perfect everyday kind of color. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep this in my collection. I think it's a really great brand to support and I love the colors in here. Um, it's not the most depthy and exciting of palettes that I have, but I do think it's a really great, um, interesting um, palette and obviously it's fully recyclable and all of that good stuff. Um, so I'm going to keep this one in my collection. It's freaking bats. I love this palette. I love this palette. I love it. Shroud Cosmetics and Butte Bean did a beautiful job. Here is finally the Periwinkle color of my dreams and it is a beautiful formula. I absolutely love it. This green, love this grungy green. This color right here, Sam. Oh my goodness. Hold on, sorry. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. These are such beautiful eyeshadows. Indie makeup brands for the win. I love this palette. She just um, recently finished. <laughs> shipping out all of her pre-orders from October. Um, so if they are still selling it, go get your hands on it. It's super good. If I mean, well, if the color story speaks to you, but I mean like the quality is for sure there. Love keeping. All right, let's talk about the Melt Gemini palette. I don't think I've ever really talked about this on my channel, but I love this palette, this color story. If you haven't caught on, this is like my perfect kind of fall grungy beautiful warm tones grungy greens this is so perfect i don't love specifically the color gemini honestly is like my least favorite in here and then the green one is a is a very crumbly one as as per uh melts usual uh issues but the mattes in here are beautiful and there are only two shimmers so it is a majority of mattes and I love all of these colors and tones and I will live with this until the day I die. I love this palette keeping. Okay, we've got this minted every night eyeshadow palette and it is quite new to my collection, but I love it. <laughs> it's a really great everyday palette and these kind of shimmers are some of my favorite shimmer formulas. They're not over the top and you know like 
super nighttime in your face. They are very just soft and creamy metallic, which is like my favorite kind of metallic. So I'm definitely keeping this, even though I've only used it a few times, I already know it's something that I love for an everyday situation. And then we have the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. This is one of my first high-end palettes I've ever had in my collection because Casey Holmes sold me on getting it. So here she is um, with her broken shadow that has shrunken, another shrunken shadow. I, I like this color story. It's just the longer I've had it in my collection, the less I care about it. Um, I, I've never... <laughs> Ever since I got this palette, I've been like confused on, like, I don't know. I got this palette and I like this palette, right? But then I try Pat McGrath and I understand why Pat McGrath is so expensive. Like when I try Pat McGrath, the whole experience, everything about it, I'm like, yes, this makes sense. When I try Natasha Denona, I'm like, is it worth it? I think, you know, she does have some fun you know, formulas and finishes, but you can get that from indie brands. Like, I don't feel like the, it doesn't come together enough for me for it to be this expensive. Um, I do really love, you know, this super chunky green color, another one, but it's like a uh, triochrome or duochrome. It's like a purple green. I don't know if you're getting the purple, but it's from my angle, it's like a pinky purple. Um, and then I love this color right here. This is probably my favorite color, this super neutral <laughs> uh, metallic. So I, I like them, but there's nothing special enough about this for me to say that it's worth it, but I'm gonna declutter this and uh, give it to someone who, who will give it the love it deserves, honestly. So I'm gonna put this one to rest. We're getting rid of you. So I kept quite a lot. <laughs> And I'm only getting rid of one Natasha Denona palette. Well, two, I guess, because I'm getting rid of this little one. A Elizabeth Arden and a ABH. And the Charlotte Tilbury. So that's what I'm getting rid of out of my high-end eyeshadow palettes. So we have this one. We have these four. We have the big Pat McGrath. And then we have all of these. That is a lot of palettes, guys. Let's see. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!